Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class we studied about division, correct? What is division? Division uh, just as subtraction is a reverse of addition, we saw that division is subtraction, uh, rever reverse of multiplication. Correct, then we saw how to divide large numbers. So we saw various examples. So let's see one example here. We saw 842 divided by 20. 3. So, how do you do 842 divided by 23? First, what we'll do? We write down the multiplication table for 23, uh, maybe till 6 or 7 times and then uh, you start. Okay, so step 1 is taking 84 uh, tens together. Okay, so 80, uh, sorry, not 84 tens, 84 together. Okay, and divided it by 23. So, when you do 84 uh, divided by 23 now you see 84 where it comes in the 23 table okay in the 23 table 84 is nearby to 69 and 92 84 itself is not there in 23 table it is nearby to 69 and 92 but 92 being greater than 84 we can't take that so what we'll do we'll do uh, we'll take 69 so here 23 3 is 69 so we'll write 3 Okay, and then it will do 84 minus 69. So, when you do 84 minus 69, we will get 15. Okay, once we write we get 15, we take down the next digit down, that is 2. So, this number becomes 152. Correct, so it becomes 152. Now, what we will do is 152. See if there is any number nearby to 152. Now, 152 is closer to 138 and 161 both. But here, 138 is smaller than 152 and 161 is greater than 152. So, we'll take 138. So, when I do 152 minus 138, what will I get? I'll get 14. Okay, I get 14. So, now here the quotient is 36 and the remainder is 14. The quotient is 36 and the remainder is 14. This 14, what is left here? It is less than 23. So, we cannot divide it further so this 14 is called the remainder and this 36 is called the quotient here 842 is called the dividend and 23 is called the divisor okay so this is how you divide two numbers and when you want to verify your answer okay when you do division and want to verify your answer you have a formula for verification what is that it is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so when you multiply divisor into quotient and add it to the remainder you should get that final answer similar to your dividend if your dividend and this divisor into quotient plus remainder is equal it means that the division that you have done okay is right and your answers are correct okay this means that your answer is verified if they are not equal that means you have done wrong and your answer is not verified Alright, so this is how you do division of numbers. Then we solved, we saw examples and then we solved few questions from your textbook exercise 2.3. Correct. Now what we'll do is, today we will see properties of multiplication and division. First properties of multiplication. Okay, so what are the properties of multiplication? The product of two given numbers remain the same even if the order is changed okay when i'm multiplying two numbers i can multiply them in any order okay the product or the final answer will remain the same so here i have 5 into 3 they have shown one example 5 into 3 is equal to 3 into 5 now 5 3 is 15 also 3 5 is also 15 so even if you change the order of the two numbers you're multiplying your final product remains the same okay final product remains the same so even if i take a larger number and multiply them okay if i take 15 into 5 okay 15 into 5 is 75 same way 5 into 15 is also 75 only okay so product of two given numbers remain the same even if the order is changed so that is one property of multiplication then the second property of multiplication the product of three numbers is the same even if the numbers are multiplied in any order now instead of two if you have three numbers 
which you are multiplying together okay what you can do first you multiply in the in the three numbers that they've given you multiply two numbers first okay and the answer that you get you multiply it with the third number okay now these three numbers can be in any order okay these three numbers can be multiplied in any order your final product will still remain the same so for example here i have 3 into 4 into 5 so first i multiply 3 into 4 3 into 4 is how much it is 12 and then i multiply 12 with 5 12 into 5 is 60 okay then uh, uh, so we got 60 as the product correct then what we'll do is first instead of multiplying 3 and 4 now i'll multiply 5 and 3 first so 5 into 3 is how much it is 15 and this 15 i'll multiply with 4 15 into 4 is 60 okay so i first multiply in the first part i multiplied uh, two different numbers together first and here i multiply two different numbers together so in any order i multiply these three numbers my final product remained the same which was 60 only okay so i can even do 4 into 5 first when i do 4 into 5 i get 20 and 20 into 3 is 60 okay so product of three numbers is the same even if the numbers are multiplied in any order so this is the second property of multiplication then coming on to the third property of multiplication here the product of any given number and one is the number itself so when i multiply any number with one my final answer will be the number itself so i take even the biggest of even i take the largest number also and multiply it with one the answer will be that number only okay so if say if i'm multiplying 69872 into one so my product will be 69872 itself so the product of three numbers is the same even if the numbers are multiplied in any order all right so here uh, they have told 25 into 1 is 25 73 into 1 is 73 so these are the examples for this property then moving on to the last property here the product of any given number and zero is zero so i multiply any number with zero my product will be zero only okay even if i take a very big number and multiply it with zero also my final answer will be zero itself so here the examples they have given are 19 into 0 is equal to 0 85 into 0 is equal to 0 okay so these are the four properties of multiplication then here they have given you two extra properties they have told if any number is multiplied by an even number then the product is even we are multiplying two numbers and one of the numbers is even okay if one of the numbers is even then the final product will be even only okay that the number will be even only what are even numbers even numbers are numbers that end with 2 4 8 6 or 0 okay when the numbers end in 2 4 8 6 or 0 then they are called even numbers okay when you multiply one odd number and then one even number you get even number as a product even when you multiply two even numbers so both your numbers are even then your final answer or your product will be even only okay so here they have taken example of 15 into 6 is 90 now 90 here is ending with 0 so it is an even number then 24 into 12 288 288 is ending in 8 so it is also an even number okay now the product of two odd numbers is always odd so when i multiply two odd numbers together i always get my product as odd okay so 3 into 5 15 7 into 3 21 these are all odd numbers odd numbers are those numbers which end with 1 3 5 7 or 9 okay so numbers that end in 1 3 5 7 or 9 are called odd numbers so here the example they have taken is 15 into 3 is equal to 45 so that is also an odd number and then 19 into 3 both 19 and 3 are odd numbers and the product is 57 which is also an odd number so these are the different properties of multiplication then moving on to properties of 
division so the first property of division if we divide a given number by the same number then the quotient is 1 so when you divide any number by itself you get the quotient as 1 so here for example they have taken 63 divided by 63 which is 1 itself and then if a given number is divided by 1 the quotient is a number itself okay so when you divide any number by 1 your quotient will be the number itself so when you divide a number by itself your quotient is 1 when you divide a number by 1 you, you the number itself is the quotient okay so these are the first two properties of division then third property every division fact has two multiplication facts okay so let's see this with an example for the division fact 15 divided by uh, by 5 is equal to 3 so this is a fact that whenever you divide 15 by 5 you get 3 as the quotient okay 15 divided by 5 is 3 so the multiplication facts here are 15 is equal to 3 into 5 and 15 is equal to 5 into 3 so if you see here the, th uh, the same three numbers are there that is 15 5 and 3 these three numbers are related by multiplication and division in this way that is 15 divided by 5 is 3 and uh, so that is one division fact and multiplication for that fact for that is 15 is equal to 3 into 5 or 15 is equal to 5 into 3 so every division fact has two multiplication facts okay so this is a third property then the fourth property when 0 is divided by any number the quotient is always 0 now your dividend is 0 here so 0 divided by 18 is 0 so whenever 0 is divided by any number the quotient is always 0 but a number cannot be divided by 0 that means a divisor cannot be 0 your divisor cannot be 0 okay the number is un defined okay so a number cannot be divided by zero so these are the five properties of division and then now for subtraction of multiply uh, sorry shortcuts to multiplication and division so when they are when you have to multiply any number by tens hundreds or thousands okay how do you do it now see here they've given you example 6 into 10 60 6 into 100 600 6 into 1000 6000 okay then 15 into 10 150 15 into 100 1500 15 into 1000 15000 now when you see those numbers you observe the pattern here so when you observe it you see that the uh, product is a number okay followed by the same number of zeros in the multiplier okay so here this is a multiplicand 6 is called a multiplicand and here 10 is called the multiplier okay so the product is nothing but the multiplicand that is 6 with followed by the number of zeros as in the multiplier so how many zeros are there in 10 one zero so six and one zero makes sixty so six into ten is sixty okay so whenever you're multiplying any number by ten hundred or thousand what you can do is first write the number okay write the number and then how many of zeros are there in ten hundred or zero or in your multipliers you put that many zeros following the number for example if i tell eight into 100 now in 8 uh, first for the product will write 8 and in 100 i have two zeros so after 8 i put two zeros that is 8 into 100 is 800 okay so you don't have to sit multiplying every time you can just write the answer fast okay next multiplication by multiples of 10 hundred and thousand what is the meaning of multiples of 10 hundred and thousand we'll see so consider 8 into 20 okay 8 into 20 is nothing but now 20 we know that 2 tens are is 20 correct so it is equal to 8 into 2 into 10 okay how much is 8 2 is 8 2 is 16 and 16 into 10 now as we saw in the first shortcut we can just write 16 and in 10 we have 10 so we can put 106 so 160 okay so same with the next one 8 into 300 so 300 is nothing but 3 into 100 so 8 into 3 into 100 so 8 3 is 24 and 24 into 100 we'll write 24 and then in 100 we have two zeros so we add 
two zeros so that is 2400 okay so in in order to multiply a number by multiples of tens hundreds and so on we first multiplying ignoring the zeros and then place the same number of zeros in the product so when you solve the example solve the questions you'll understand okay so uh, now division by 10 hundred and thousand now here the following examples will help you recall the shortcuts to division that you have studied earlier so 378 divided by 10 now here how you write uh, how you solve this is 378 divided by 10 they have told so instead of sitting and dividing everything what you do now uh, here we have one zero in 10 correct so uh, the last digit okay the last one digit will be the remainder and the remaining digits will be the quotient so here 8 is the remainder and 37 is the quotient same way 6289 divided by 100 here the last two digits because 100 has two zeros the last two digits of the number will be the remainder and the first and the remaining digits will be the quotient so here 89 is the remainder and 62 is the quotient okay so 65217 divided by 1000 now 1000 has three zeros so the last three digits of the number will be the remainder that is 217 is the remainder and the quotient will be the remaining digit 65 okay so this is how you do division by tens hundreds and thousands so these are the different shortcut methods to do multiplication and division and the different properties for multiplication and division all right so now what we'll do we'll see a few problems that are given in your textbooks on these so exercise 2.4 on page number 104 okay exercise 2.4 on page 104 so question number one fill in the blanks using properties of multiplications and divisions okay so first question 625 into dash is equal to 625 now we know that whenever we multiply a number by one we get the answer as number itself so here 625 into one will be equal to 625 so this is one then question b 528 into zero is equal to dash so we know that whenever you multiply any number with zero the product is zero so this is zero then 2891 into dash is equal to 2891 so the product is same as the number itself so this will be one okay then 243 into 625 is equal to 625 into dash so we know that see they put an equal to sign here so it means that both the products are same so this means that the order is changing so 625 into 243 okay so e1 17 into 23 into 61 is equal to 61 into 41 into dash okay i uh, they've, they've done a mistake in printing here in your textbooks it shouldn't be 41 okay so here instead of 41 what you can do is you can write 17 okay so cancel that 41 and write 17 it's not 41 it is 17 or you can write 23 also okay so instead of uh, 41 write 17 that is a mistake in the textbook so 61 into 17 into dash now we know that whenever three numbers are there you can multiply them in any order and since these two are equal it means these orders are changed so 61 into 17 and 23 okay then 218 divided by 218 you know that whenever you divide a number by itself the quotient is one so this is one then zero divided by 53 whenever you divide zero by any number the quotient is zero itself then dash divided by 15 is zero so this is zero divided by 15 is equal to zero okay so this was pro on questions on properties now work out the following using shortcut method 73 into 10 so first what we'll do we'll do write 73 as it is then in 10 we have 10 so we'll put 10 after 73 so 73 into 10 is 730 then 
ट्वेंटी फोर इन टू हंड्रेड सो हेयर वॉट विल डू विल राइट ट्वेंटी फोर एज इट इज एंड इन हंड्रेड आई हैव टू जीरो सो आई पुट टू जीरो सो दैट इज टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ओके देन एटी वन इंटू थर्टी नाउ हेयर हाउ यू विल डू फर्स्ट मल्टीप्लाई एटी वन इंटू थ्री ओके मल्टीप्लाई एटी वन इंटू थ्री एंड इग्नोर द जीरोज ए हाउ मच इज एटी वन इंटू थ्री यू विल गेट टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट ओके टू फोर्टी सॉरी टू फोर्टी थ्री and then you have one zero in thirty so we'll put one zero here so two thousand four thirty then sixty five into three hundred now you ignore the zeros multiply sixty five into three when you multiply sixty five into three you'll get one ninety five so write one ninety five and the number of zeros here is two zeros in three hundred we have two zeros okay so sixty five into Three hundred is nineteen thousand five hundred. Then ninety four divided by ten. They have asked quotient and remainder. Now in ten we have one zero. So the number ending, uh, so the last digit of the number will be the remainder. So here four is the remainder, and quotient is the remaining number is nine. So nine is the quotient. Now seven hundred and five divided by hundred. Hundred has two zeros, so the last two digits of the number will be the remainder. So last two digits are zero and five, and the remaining digits will be the quotient. So here seven is the quotient. Okay, so this is exercise two point five on properties and shortcut methods for multiplication and division, and the last three problems here G, H, and I, which are there. Do it for your homework. All right. All right, students. So this was properties of multiplication and division. In the next class, we'll be solving word problems. All right. So I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.